I guess hard work really paid off. How did I study to reach this far? Write down every chapter of your syllabus in a list. Mark the difficult ones. Start studying. When the exams are near, count down how many days are left for the exam and how many chapters are left for you to study. Divide the chapters accordingly for each day. While dividing, make sure you put one difficult chapter with an easy chapter every day. In that list, make three small boxes in front of each chapter. Label them as U for understood, L for learned and R for revised. So it is the ULR strategy. As soon as you understand, learn and revise a chapter, take the respective box in front of it. That's your checklist. And that's pretty much what I did. It really worked out in the end. I'm really proud of my past self. Because of him, I can now call myself a doctor. So, if you are waiting for it, this video is your sign to start believing in your own self. Because that's how, after 5 years of hard work, on my 23rd birthday, I got the best birthday gift possible. And that is, I became a doctor. That day has been the most memorable birthday that I have ever had. It was evening and I was about to cut my birthday cake. But then my mobile started flooding with messages. Ding 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 ding. And that's how I knew that my result was here. I think that the almighty God loves to keep my life interesting. I got my first ever gold medal in the year 2018 on my birthday. So I knew if my final year result was going to come, it would definitely be on my birthday. I was ready and waiting with my laptop, opening the website, ready to put the roll number. I guess the 10,145 students of the whole Maharashtra had the same idea. And maybe that's why the website crashed. My friends had already sent the college-wise result on my WhatsApp group. So I knew that I passed. But the actual result? I had to wait till the next morning to get it. And I was going back to Nagpur in the bus. And that's when I came to know that I passed with a score of 73.88%. I passed with a distinction in obstetrics and gynecology. Maybe I do kind of like that subject. But at that moment, my two brain cells were very preoccupied with the scenery that was going outside the window. So I thought, let's see it later. And we are ready to go and take the lectures on the second day of being a doctor, right? Yes, chalo. And for the rest of the day, me and Anuj were in Datta Megya Medical College, Hingna to discuss a little bit of what we learned in the final year. Anuj took on medicine and I discussed a little bit of surgery with my friends in DMMC. It was fun to learn all the basic concepts all over again with a new perspective. I hope I get invited again because I have so many new things to share with them now. Well, that day was over sooner than I thought. I said one last goodbye to my best friend Brownie and we were on the way back. Hey, hi. Okay, doctor. Yes. Where are you going? We stopped to get some chai tea in a local shop. There was a wall beside me filled with sticky notes. And those sticky notes had all the memories of the people who visited there. I guess it triggered my own bittersweet memories of the MBBS. Soon, I'll graduate from medical school. It really feels like yesterday when I walked through all those hallways as a nervous first year medical student. I was so unsure about the future, but right now, the moment that I have been waiting for is right around the corner. Soon, I'll be walking across the stage to get my medical degree. I shake my hands and I start my own journey of becoming a medical professional. It's hard to believe that this chapter, the medical student part of my life, is about to end. As the excitement builds in inside of me, a bittersweet reality also sets in. The people who have been by my side throughout this journey, those people who have become my closest friends, they won't be just 10 minutes away anymore. Visiting them will require scheduling, planning and coordination. One by one, my friends will start their own journey, moving away to start their own medical careers or pursue their specialized fields. The map of familiar faces that once filled my social circle will start to spread out. I'll have to zoom out to check all their locations. 
some will be in delhi some in maharashtra some in mumbai some in karnataka and some may go outside india as well gone will be the days of late night text to visit for a coffee or study sessions rushing to the lecture hall to avoid being late and studying together after long days at the hospital no more exciting moments of working on challenging medical cases no more lunch breaks with my best friends the familiar sound of medical school environment will fade away all the drama dance music all the academic events that were once the highlight of the year they will all become cherished memories it may sound cliche but it's undeniably true the years in medical school really fly by the days will feel incredibly long and demanding but when you look back they all will pass away in a blink of an eye so in this final year of internship i have learned to cherish all the last moments that i'll ever get the last day of medical school the last exam that i take the last practice of a clinical procedure the last gathering with my medical school friends they all hold a special place in my heart graduation itself will be a monumental last it is the last time that i'll see the majority of the people that i spent these transformative years of my life with it is the time to celebrate our accomplishments reflect on our growth and prepare for the next phase of our life i'm really savoring every last moment that i spent in nagpur because soon enough we all will be dispersing all over india and the world across different medical specialties and hospitals each building our own careers and making a difference in patients life and above all i am cherishing the precious time that i am getting with my friends because soon enough everything is going to change so as the countdown of graduation continues i am taking deep breaths and i keep reminding myself that i need to enjoy every last remaining second to treasure all these friendships that i have formed and to appreciate all the knowledge and experience that i have gained that has shaped me into the doctor that i am today because soon this chapter will be over and a new one will begin i am sure it will be filled with opportunities and i'll have meaningful impact on the patient's life but for now hello woohoo let me just enjoy these peaceful evenings with my friends having parties and late night dinners because that's where i truly felt excited and for the first time i felt like i have become dr abhijit and i have a message to all the medical aspirants who are struggling right now deep down you know exactly what you are capable of there are moments when you get the glimpses of all the potential that you have you can get there you just have to be willing to sacrifice sacrifice the habits the beliefs the things and the situations that are in your way of success i believe in you Thank <laughs> you.